I did a lot of beating my head on the countertop today and I've been trying to figure out how to get a wireless Kodak printer working in Arch Linux and I finally found that solution and I'm going to do that right after I roll the intro. Okay. Let's begin. First, make sure that you have cups installed, okay? And uh, that is uh, by typing Pac-Man hyphen capital S cups. All right. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to bother installing it. All right. Also, you're going to you're going to need to make sure that you have the Kodak ESP drivers installed as well. So we're going to use Yaourt. Y-A-O-U-R-T Kodak. All right. And I already have it installed. Just choose one and pr just press number one and enter. And that will uh, go ahead and uh, install that and compile it for you on the fly. All right. Control C here. All right. Now, to set up the printer, you need to get into your administration panel, which is right here. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in on this. Point your web browser to localhost 631 slash admin. All right, now we're going to add a printer. This is good for any Kodak printer, as a matter of fact. All right, now make sure that you have your printer connected to your home network, and you will see it in the list. You'll see other network printers, and you can see mine, which is the Kodak company. A printer is here, so we'll select that, press continue. Okay, now, you're going to need to add the following line. The, the, uh, the information provided in the documentation is incorrect. Believe me, I've been for three hours trying to figure this out, and that's why I'm bringing this information to you right now. Okay, we're going to type in socket and the IP address for the printer on the home network. Now, if the power uh, goes out and uh, your router assigns a new address, you'll need to check that on your printer, and it will tell you the new address, so you can just simply modify that to your to your needs. Okay, press continue. All right, then, of course, we're going to name it Kodak. The description of it is this, uh, and uh, the lab. All right, and we will uh, press to share this printer. I want other people uh, in the household to be able to use my printer as well. Okay, and then, now... You're going to need to provide the PPA pile, uh, the PPD pile. Bleh, too much coffee today. You need to provide the PPD file uh, from Yaourt, and that is located in User Share PPD C2 ESP. Select your model from the list. All right, add printer. Okay, I'm going to set 300 by 300 resolution on this. I like the other settings here, so we're going to say set default options. Okay, now it's going to refresh, and we can go into maintenance here on this tab and tell it to print a test page. It'll take a moment for that job to go through. It's telling us it is connected to the printer. And then, of course, you can hear it running in the background. Of course, it does pause for a moment. Now, I also uh, installed this in a virtual machine, but it's not practical for me to fire up a virtual machine every time I have to print something, really, you know? But we can hear it printing right now. And here it is. If you thought this was useful, comment, like, and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook, Google+, or Twitter. I'll keep you up to date every time I've got a video uploaded. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.